one year ago today on my mother's dying bed at 92 years old, former sharecropper. Her last words were, do not let them take our votes away from us. They had fought, she had fought and seen people harmed, beaten, trying to vote. Talk about inalienable rights. Voting is crucial. And I don't give a damn how you look at it. There are efforts to stop people from voting. That's not right. This is not Russia. This is the United States of America. And I will fight until the death to make sure every citizen, whether they're Green Party, whether they're Freedom Party, whether they're Democrat, whether they're Republican, whoever has that right to vote. Because it is the essence of our democracy. And we can play around and act like it's not. And, and guess what? I want, to, I want to be clear that when they look back on this moment 200 years from now, that there are those who, of us who stood up and they'll be able to say, they stood up and said, we will defend, they defended the right to vote. Because you know what the problem is? For so many people, their rights are pulled away from them, then they gotta put in laws and get them back. Pulled away from them, what does that mean? They cannot progress rapidly. They cannot progress with the rest of society. And all they're trying to do is trying to control their own destiny. And they talked about the legislature down there in North Carolina. And this is a quote from the Fourth Circuit. These are federal judges. They said, before enacting that law, the legislature requested data on the use by race of a number of voting practices. Upon receipt of the race data, the General Assembly enacted legislation that restricted come on you talk about one in, in, in alienable rights that restricted voting and registration in five different ways all of which disproportionately affected african americans they went on to say this is the fourth circuit i didn't say this the federal court said it said in response to claims that intentional racial discrimination animated its action, the state offered only meager justifications. Although the new provisions target, and this is what the court said, although the new provisions target African Americans with almost surgical precision, they constitute inapt remedies for the problems assertedly justifying them and in fact impose cures for problems that did not even exist. They went on to say, thus the asserted justifications cannot and do not conceal the state's true motiva motivation, end of quote. 